In today's lesson, we will be discussing the mean, the median, and the mode for the group data. So let us use the example from our last video, where in the test scores of G10 Pythagoras in a 40-item math test. So let us now calculate the mean. So to solve for the mean of the group data, we need to fill up our frequency distribution table with the following data. So we need to get the class interval together with its class width, which is equal to 5, the frequency, and the total number of frequency, which is equal to 50, and also the class midpoint, and then after that, the frequency times the midpoint, and also its summation, which is equal to 1,240. Uh, Peeling up the frequency distribution table has already been discussed in our last video, so I will not be discussing this one to you. So let us now proceed to the formula of the mean. So to compute for the mean, so we use the formula mean is equal to summation of frequency times the midpoint all over the total number of frequency. So mean will be equal to 1240 all over 50 then dividing that will be equal to 24.8 so the average scores of g10 pythagoras is equal to 24.8 so the next measure of central tendency will be the median so calculating the median for the group data we have the following steps the first step is to construct the cumulative frequency distribution then after that you will decide the class that contain the median. So the median class is the first class with the value of cumulative frequency which is equal or at least n over 2. So, so to solve for the median, we use the formula median is equal to the lower class boundary of the median class plus n over 2 minus the cumulative frequency before the class median all over the frequency of the class median times the class width or the intervals. So that is our working formula. To calculate the, for the median, we need the following data in our frequency distribution table. So we have the class interval, the frequency, the lower class boundary, and the last non cumulative frequency together with the class width which is equal to 5, and the total number of frequency which is equal to 50. So, the next step is to determine the median class, which is the formula for the median class is equal to n over 2. So, all we need to do is to substitute the value of n. So, our n total number of frequency is equal to 50. Dividing that will be equal to 25. And to get the median class, the median class must be equal or greater than the cumulative frequency so in this case we will be looking at the value of commu of the cumulative frequency so these are the values of the cumulative frequency and we will, we will find the number which is equal or greater than 25 so the number is 28 so this is our answer 28 so therefore our median class is in the fourth class. So here is our median class. After that, next step is to use the formula. So the formula for the median is equal to lower boundary of the median class plus quantity, uh, total number of frequency all over 2 minus the frequency before the median class all over the frequency of the median class times the class width. So we'll be substituting the value. So median is equal to 21.5. So this will be the value of our lower class boundary of the median class. So 21.5. Then after that, uh, n will be equal to 50. We'll be, we will just substitute the value of n. And then minus the cumulative frequency before the median class. So if our median class is equal to 28, the cumulative frequency before the median class is equal to 16. And then after that, the frequency of the median class, so here is our frequency of the median class, so that is equal to 12. And then the class width, which is equal to 5. Then after that, uh, we will simplify, bring down 
plus quantity 50 divided by 2 is 25 minus 16 all over 12 times 5. So median is equal to 21.5. 25 minus 16 is, e is equal to 9. Divided by 12 is equal to 0 0.75 times 5 will be 3.75. Then adding those two numbers, we will get the answer which is equal to 25.25. So the median, so the middle value of the data is equal to 25.25. So next, we'll be calculating the mode. Mode is the value that has the highest frequency in a data set. For group data, class mode or the modal class is the class with the highest frequency. To find the mode for the group data, we use the following formula. Mode is equal to the lower class boundary of the modal class plus quantity of delta sub 1 all over delta sub 1 plus delta sub 2 times the class width. So we're in delta sub 1 is the difference between the frequency of the class mode and the frequency of the class before the class mode. And delta sub 2 is the difference between the frequency of the class mode and the frequency of the class after the class mode. So let us now construct our frequency distribution table. So in calculating the mode, we need the class interval, the class width, which is equal to 5, our frequency, and then the total number of frequency or, or the total frequency, which is equal to 50, and also our class boundary, lower class boundary. So the next step is to determine our modal class or the class mode. In this case, the one with the highest frequency will be our modal class. So in this case, the highest frequency is 13. So our modal class will be the PIP class. So third, this is the fourth. So this one will be our modal class, the fifth class. And then after that, we will be identifying the lower boundary of the modal class which is equal to 26.5 so this one will be our the, our lower boundary of the mode and then after that delta 1 will be equal to 13 so this one the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency before the modal class so this one will be equal to 12 and then after that 13 minus 12 will be equal to 1 then yung delta 2 will be 13 minus 3 so the frequency of the modal class which, which is equal to 13 minus the frequency of the modal class after okay so the frequency after the modal class which is equal to 3 so 13 minus 3 will be equal to 10 so delta 2 will be equal to 10 and then after that we will be using the formula mode is equal to the lower boundary of the modal class plus quantity delta sub 1 all over delta sub 2 plus delta sub 1 times the interval and then you will substitute 26.5 plus quantity 1 all over 1 plus 10 times 5 and then mode will be equal to 26.5 1 then 1 plus 10 is 11 and then after that 1 divided by 11 is 0 0.09 times 5 and then add it by 26.5 the answer will be equal to 26.9